Hey, good morning. Uh, so we're out here today in Toronto, Canada. Uh, we've come out to Casa Loma. Now this is a castle um, here basically uh, in Toronto city centre. Uh, it was, they started construction in 1911 and it took 300, 299 to be precise. It took 299 people three years to build. Now this place has been in a number of, uh, of feature films. Uh, so it's been in uh, things like X-Men, Titans, I think it was in Beauty and the Beast as well. Um, they've done it in a few uh, in a few other things, I think maybe Scott Pilgrim uh, versus the world. Some load of films, um, but you can kind of see why. Looks pretty amazing. Um, so this is included as part of our city pass, but if you don't buy the city pass, um, tickets are $30. Uh, for an adult and then going down 25, 20, dependent on the age, you've got senior tickets and things like that. Um, but we really do seriously recommend um, the City Pass because you've got a number of really prominent tourist attractions here in Toronto included on that and I think that was 96 Canadian dollars which is about 65 pound for all of them. Um, 30 dollars works out to be about 20 pound so you're getting a pretty good deal if you buy that city pass. Um, but we're gonna go inside here. It looks really, really awesome uh, so far. Parking is $15 per vehicle. So you can park right outside. There's nobody here today for some reason. But wow, this is a baby castle compared to what we've got back in the UK though. And we've got things dating back a thousand years and this is only a hundred years old. So by comparison, it's a little baby. But um, if you uh, do enjoy the video and you uh, find it useful and informative throughout, do appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. And I'd love for you guys to hit the subscribe button, bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. Let's go and see what we can find. Oh, they've got all these cool pumpkins out. Really dressed up for the fall. This looks incredible. So we're going to start at the very top of the building. We can go all the way up to the top of the towers first and then work our way back down. So first up we've got an exhibit on the Queen's Own Rifles of Canada. And this is uh, one of the regiments of uh, the Canadian Armed Forces here in Toronto. Now the Colonel in Chief is Camilla. Um, the Duchess of Cornwall, um, well, Canada's part of the British Commonwealth, so there's a lot of ties to British colonialism and things like that here. Um, so you'll see a lot of uh, similarities between Canadian Armed Forces and the British Armed Forces. Here we've got a number of uh, medals from the regiment. As well as some of the drum corps and part of the, uh, the army band. Some of their instruments. Do have a number of actual rifles too. These date from 1853. Um, all the way up to 1984. This is um, the, the rifles that you would have been given as standard issue. So you can go up another level. Number of uh, uniforms here as well. Sir Henry, um, the uh, gentleman that commissioned 
this uh, castle actually has a lot of Scottish heritage too, um, so that may be part of the influence of some of the design here. Oh, we got this weird chair underneath. Is it random? Yeah. Not real, are they? No, they're made of foam. So it looks like typically they have, uh, they've got the dragon song. These sets and props create the backdrop of Casaloma's Escape series game, the dragon song. You can book your tickets on uh, escapecasaloma.com. So you've got an escape room, or an escape game here at Casaloma. Uh, you see the dragon just over there at the back. That would be really cool. I wish we could have done that. If we go up here, you'll see a little bit more of what that's about. Uh, that may be off right now due to the current circumstances. I'm just uh, trying to show you guys what this escape Casaloma looks like. Uh, it's very rare that we get to see escape rooms uh, and actually film in an escape room, but my goodness, these look so cool. Wow, this looks amazing. This looks incredible. Really well designed. You got even more. We're going right up in the tower now. Made it right to the top of the tower now. Um, what we were saying before about all the graffiti being up here. Uh, you've got phenomenal, phenomenal views of uh, downtown Toronto from up here. I would say, uh, if you get the opportunity to come and do the escape room here, or the escape game, do check it out, because if you really love escape games, this looks incredible. Um, minimum of six people, so we can't actually really do it ourselves, because if we were to do it, it'll cost us 250 Canadian dollars to do, um, and we can't justify that just between two of us, it's like 40, five dollars a person uh, on the game of six so it looks like we've got a second escape room in here this is escape the tower and this is in the northern uh, sorry this is in the norman tower um, so it seems like we've got two escape rooms this one looks more of a war um, spy special agent themed one breaking the codes because you're uh, um, like a telephone exchange switch box there you've got what i mean kind of looks like a map but i can't see any real country there at all oh my goodness we're right at the top of the tower downtown toronto just there Amazing views from up the top here. So this is the Norman Tower. We were just up the top of the Scottish Tower as well. Uh, I think that might be that one there, or one over there. Um, this is the uh, servants' quarters. Um, this is primarily reserved for unmarried women. This particular corridor has been used in many, many a film and TV series. Um, so first up we've got uh, Sir Pellet's Suite. So let's go in here then. Oh, 
Wow. What a bathroom. Looking out the window from May to October, you can see the restored gardens of Casaloma, it says. This is his shower, his bath. Oh, so we've got a number of Sir Henry Pellet's uh, uniforms here as well. Oh, this is Reginald Pellet, it says. Colonel Reginald Pellet. He's the son of Henry Pellet. Onto the balcony. So we were just hearing in the audio guys when this was originally built um, and it was looking out over downtown Toronto that was originally basically a slum uh, so things have changed a little bit I mean this area is still really fancy fancy up here but downtown isn't a slum anymore. Oh, imagine having afternoon tea there how amazing would that be? Tea, scones, everything. Okay, so we're now into our second bathroom. Oh, this one doesn't have the real fancy shower like the other one did. Still got the nice bathtub. Still, still got your own separate uh, commode. But it doesn't have the same Ah, she was the first, his wife, Mary Pellet, was the first chief commissioner of the Girl Guide to Canada from 1912 to 1922. That's cool. So, now we've got the guest suite. Wow, for a guest suite, that is... Wow. It's so coming here, we're down the end of the castle. On the second floor at the moment, we've got the Windsor room. Ah, as I said, afternoon tea would be amazing. Beautiful, really ornate. And we've got the round room. The room is, in, in fact, round. Uh, it's perfectly rounded because it fits into the base of the Norman Tower. Okay, so the Norman Tower is just above us and that's where uh, we saw the escape room a second ago. We're just reading a fact, this uh, staircase here uh, wasn't actually here originally. Um, there wasn't a staircase because the one that was supposed to be here during construction uh, got lost in transit during uh, World War One. So they had to really quickly construct one uh, when they converted it into a hotel in 1925. It feels like something out of The Shining in here. Red rum, red rum, red rum. This is the uh, conservatory um, where we think you can have a wedding in here. You can see why. Imagine getting married in here, that'd be amazing. I love the, uh, the dome at the top, it looks phenomenal. So beautiful. Interesting fact. I have the glass of these doors actually opens up, uh, so you can fully clean the glass on its own. Um, and these doors each cost about 10,000 back in the day. 30k now. So we're just um, hearing as well that there's actually steam pipes underneath these plants, so they don't um, so they don't die in the winter, essentially, because uh, it gets pretty cold here in Toronto in the winter time. Uh, this is the main dining room here at Castle Loma. So once you've got married, come and have your reception here. Then you've got a fantastic balcony to look out over Toronto itself. Oh, 
few Halloween things going on at the moment um, as we are currently here in the Halloween season. This is the Great Hall. Again, we've got the organs. Got this amazing piano. Uh, one thing I didn't tell you guys about, we do have an audio guide as well. So you've got um, you've got all the numbers next to all the little bits and pieces that it can tell you about. So you just type in the numbers and you can um, be given the information. A lot of what is being said is on the signs um, in the rooms, but some of these more intricate um, details like this chair, um, this organ, they don't have any signs next to them and that will be on the audio guide itself. Um, you do have assisted description and American sign there as well. Uh, I don't know how you get the American sign. There's a little screen on here as well, so it might be that the uh, American sign is on the audio guide itself. So we've now got, uh, we've got the smoking room, uh, which I'm, sh I'm assuming this would be the smoking room. Um, and then we've got the billiard room as well. Um, we've got the bar, the cafe and the restaurant and everything. Uh, those now are closed off at the moment, I believe, um, due to current restrictions here in Toronto. Um, but they do look pretty incredible. Um, so I can imagine having, uh, I mean, these, these little chairs here look awesome. Just in case you were thirsty, they've got their own wine cellar. Uh, apologies for the flickering. A lot of bottles of wine there. Oh, really? Huge bottles of wine. Oh, oh and you've got a, uh, a freezer as well. This is Blue Blood Steakhouse freezer. Okay, so we're going to go into the swimming pool at Casa Loma. Now, I don't think this was necessarily completed. We've got a Hollywood film gallery here. Oh, he was alive till 1939. From 59 to 39. Although the latter part of his life was plagued by despair, misfortune, and even poverty, Sir Henry Mill Pellet rose to the greatest heights of fortune and fame. The one time millionaire was laid to rest with full military honors. It was exactly the way he would have wanted it. It's the final stop on the tour of uh, Catalonia. We're going to go through the tunnels over to the stables. Uh, so this is one way. It's an exit only um, because you can't come back for it. But it looks pretty scary. Future Lee here. Um, just pitting this in and I'll pop it in just before we head through the tunnels to go across to the stables. If you are squeamish, if you don't like sort of horror and things like that, this is all set up for their Halloween event. Um, so I'd suggest skipping forward in the video so I can show you the stables. But looking around, there are still some Halloween remnants. So just I'll pit in the bottom corner how far you have to skip ahead um, in order to kind of avoid the tunnels part um, because other than the Halloween stuff there's nothing in there that you can see. This is all set up for their Halloween event. I think it's called Horrors of... Horrors of Halloween? Oh, these are um, bones inside here. You've got human bones, not real human bones, hopefully. But this is all set up for their Horrors of Halloween event. Uh, and that's on nightly over the Halloween season.
the stables are also being set up for Halloween, not as um, badly as those tunnels were. You've got a few um, bodies and cadavers and whatnot hanging around. Set up so well for Halloween. This looks like an amazing Halloween event. Really looks awesome. So many bodies and heads and whatnot. You've got electricity going off all around you. You've got really well decorated throne there. Just looks amazing. An oven with bodies coming out of it too. Phenomenal. You're gonna head to the celebrity gallery. Um, this is going up a number of stairs. Uh, one thing, the place isn't too accessible uh, if you've got mobility issues. Um, there are a lot of spiral staircases like this. Got gallery here, celebrity gallery. It's the Prime Minister of um, Canada, Justin Trudeau. Uh, if that's the pr correct pronunciation of the last name. So this is a number of films that have been filmed here. Back off. So you've got, what is this, Extreme Measures. Uh, so this is Sarah Jessica Parker, is it? You've got Maximum brother. Risk. We're You're actually showing brother. a scene of that here at the moment. The Pacifier. Tuxedo with Jackie Chan. <laughs> Scott Pilgrim versus the world. I was right at the beginning of the uh, video. Muhammad Ali versus Iron Mike. Tyson. You had Chicago filmed here as well. I'm assuming that's, these are things that have been filmed here. The Love Guru. This is the uh, really terrible film. Oh, there you go. Really terrible film with Mike Myers. Saying I love you is not the words I want to hear from you. What else have we got? 54. Never heard of it. This is really creepy. The skulls. Paul Walker. Caveman's Valentine, Crimson Peak. This is what they're showing up on the screen here, the Caveman's Valentine. Samuel L. Jackson. To be fair, Samuel L. Jackson's in like everything, so not surprising. And then finally, X-Men was filmed in Peacock Alley, the Oak Room, Great Hall, and the Library. I'm going to watch X-Men with a new appreciation now, I think. Now into the potting shed. Oh, there's a weird hubbing in here. Oh. So these plants are all uh, transported through the tunnels. These guys get scared as well of the Halloween stuff, especially the little baby plants. But this is all, these are all put in the conservatory eventually. Um, and like we said, uh, plants are heated underneath the flower beds to stop them from freezing during the winter months. And finally, we've got the garage here. A couple of Sir Henry Pellet's cars. I'm assuming they're Sir Henry Pellet's cars. This is all dedicated to him. 
had living quarters on the second floor for the male staff, and he was incredibly fascinated with electric cars, man before his time. That's the end of our tour of Casaloma. We had an absolutely fantastic time going through there. Um, that's probably our best attraction. Now we've done a few and obviously they'll be coming out sporadically over the next uh, few weeks. We've done a few attractions here in Toronto so far, but before coming here, I probably would have said this will be a bit naff and we won't enjoy it. It'll just be doing it for the sake of doing it, you know, because you're in Toronto. But that was absolutely fantastic. This building is incredible. Um, and then just behind me at the road, the, um, the sort of pink, orangey bricked building, that's the stables. So we've taken a tunnel all the way under the avenue um, to go down there. And that's obviously, as I said, that's been decorated for Halloween. Now, the Halloween event is running from October 1st through October 31st, and tickets uh, start, they start at 35 Canadian dollars per person, roughly about 20 pounds, um, plus taxes. Um, there are VIP packages and things like that, you can have proper tours for that. Um, but saying that, if, you don't if you're not really super into the scary stuff, um, come here in the day and it's kind of all visible anyway so you can get a feel of what the Halloween stuff will be like before you actually get thrown in at the deep end and really do the Halloween um, but they're really um, those sets looked awesome the house as a whole was really cool seeing the film I think I'd say see the film before doing the rest of the tour you get the you can see the film in the cinema um, where you collect the audio guide anyway. So go and watch the film, get a bit of info, and then you're a bit more prepared for what this guy's got going on in his life, how he's got from A to Z, um, and what's happened to him throughout the years, basically. Um, but he had a pretty, pretty illustrious life. Um, started at the bottom, and then he went up here, and then he plunged all the way down. <laughs> um, but really honestly come and check this out it's absolutely fantastic we had an amazing time and i think uh if you come out here too you will really have an awesome time as well um so if you have enjoyed the video uh give us a thumbs up do appreciate it, it does help me out a lot and if you could hit the subscribe button the bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos that'll be fantastic we'll see you on the other side thanks